Hello students. So this is the review on your solution to the review of your test one. So I have rearranged the question numbers according to your test formats. So first we said Casca one means finding one unknown. So let's look at number one from the review. So first the set of the Casca, it tells that twice so interpret them two times the sum what is that positive of half so it's half of a number so let's fix our variables let x equals to be the number or a number right so that's our x and three times a number so that's the same number we are talking about right there might be a confusion it's the same number is so that's equal 27 more so that's positive then half half of is this multiplication five times the number right that's x <coughs> so i'm separating it so that you don't confused with multiplication okay so now let's form our equation two times the sum sum of half a number half of the number and three times and so you add sum of whom this and three times a number of this 3x so all these expression is equal of whom twice the sum this sum two types of them is 27 27 more than half of so multiplication times five times the number that x so let's rearrange we have Two times two so it's x cancels out positive two times three is six x equals five ones are five x over two positive 27 so let's solve it so what we are getting in the left hand side we get one and six x multiply seven x so five x over two plus 27 so we'll have to get rid of this 5x to isolate this x. So what do we do? We subtract 5 over 2x, subtract 5x over 2. And so what do we get? This is, I'm moving here. So 7x minus 5x over 2 equals only this remains thereof so 27 looks good right now we need to interpret this one as 7x and a fraction so what do you do we need to get the common denominator so you get 2 so we need to multiply 2 so 2 sevens becomes 14x over 2 minus 5x over 2 so that's 27 so what do you do common denominator so that's the LCM so we have a 14x 2 divided by 2 is 1 so 1 times 14 negative 2 over 2 is 1 so 1 times 5x that gives us 27 right so 14 and 5 gone so for 9x is here over 2 27 we need to get x right so what you can do we can multiply this by the reciprocal so that goes off and that's why we'll have to multiply this guy by reciprocal. So what do you get of we got x nine can be divided three so three to the six. That's the calculation way. Calculation the way you do. So what do you get? Find questions tells us find the number. Who was that? That was x. What do you have got? X equals uh our six so the answer is 
six is the number or the number is six it is the number we were looking for right so that's it so you can rewind and forward and see that however i'm moving and clearing it so the next one looks nice uh, since it's a video that's not going to disturb you so next casca finding one unknown is in 11 and you review it go back to number 11 go to number 11 it says five times the number five times a number so again we say let uh, the number be x or let easiest for x is the number or a number okay and now what they say five times a number so five times right for well, five times a number now i'll move forward you understand what to do is right is is uh subtracted five times a number is subtracted from three times a number right so basically this number this is not equal is it means an operation is this is subtracted from three times a number from three times of that number right that is the same x and then increased increased this number once subtracted from that this is increased by 15 the result so that is is the same as when the number is increased by 90 so was the number this when it is increased by 90 that simple right so operation is very simple from here you get t copy and take away five copies so it's a negative 2x because that's positive larger number is 5x so 2 remains and this sign so this is 15 and you have a x plus 90 now what you want to do is how uh, we don't want a negative here so i got to get from here uh, that is 2x positive 2x positive 2x we can get rid of that so we have a 15 and we have a 3x and we have a 90 we cannot avoid negative probably now since we want to isolate x we get rid of this 90 so negative 90 we get a negative 10 gone so 80 uh 75 so 75 and that's 3x right so now proceeding negative 75 equals 3x so we want to isolate x so we divide by 3 we divide by 3 we get a negative 25 equals x right okay so it looks like our number is negative 25 now let's see uh it looks a little fishy if there is any problem in the math so let's test it right so we say five times the number so five times the number is this this is subtracted subtracted from three times the number three times the number what we get then the result is same as the number is the number is 25 that is increased by 90 right let's see if they equalize so what do you get this is negative positive negative 75 oh it looks it doesn't look good okay this is visible negative 75 negative into positive 520 is 120 so 125 and 25 gone from 90 20 gone 70 another 565 and 75 is gone 25 gone 100 and another 50 gone oh looks a little critical oh 75 gone is 50 and that's 65 let's see five times the number is subtracted from three times the number then oh then increase by 15 there is a 15 so it is pause sorry let me test it again so once there is negative 75 positive 125 positive 25 right here is 65 yeah it goes fine because that's giving us positive 50 and uh 
Oh no, that's 15. I'm doing mistake again and again. This 15. So probably 15, 65. So 65 equals 65. This I'm testing. Just it looked a little fishy for me. So what we got? The number itself is 50. So once we write the answers, we write that find the number. So we say answer the number. You can see the work once you rewind is negative 25. Always box your answer. Then now Keska 2. That means finding two unknowns. So let's see. That's our number 2. So go back to number 2. The smaller of two numbers is so uh, let the smaller number be x right mm, so let's say let x the smaller number right <coughs> the smaller of two numbers there are two numbers the smaller one is so x is 12 less 12 less than the larger so what happens we can think like a chart if a smaller is x then larger is 12 less uh, a smaller number is 12 less than larger so larger is 12 more right okay so even if we say larger it comes over here positive 12 so it looks that so let's say this is the best way if you go to the chart smaller and larger now you got an idea in one variable less than 12 four times the larger so larger is this so let's say four times of the larger is this equation right e that e so four times the larger exceeds so it exceeds three times the smaller so smaller is x three times of that by 90 right so now we got our equation now we can go for solution so what do you do we distribute 4x for 12s are 40 and 8 48 and 3x plus 90 right so now what we should do we should get rid of this 3x negative 3x so isolate here so get rid of this 48 get rid of this 48 so what do you get this is gone there is x this is gone so 50 40 42 right so this is the smaller one what they've asked for they ask for find the numbers so we'll have to find both the number remember our smaller was x i should have drawn this chart different and larger one it is x x plus 12 so if you plug in x is 42 this is 42 and then now uh, the larger one find the number so this one is 42 plus this 12 so this one is sent to this is 415 so answers are the numbers are 42 and 54 right that's the answer for number two in Casco three. We have done three sums so far. So now let me move on to Casco two, finding two unknowns, another sum like that, right? So let me move on. The larger of two numbers is six. So let's assume this is number nine in our review list. I have reorganized them according to your problem models Keska 1 Keska 2 then I'll be going for uh, consecutive problems then I'll go for age problems then geometry because these questions will be set in that way so in question number nine we see that the larger of two numbers so again let us make a table chart okay so we said this is our smaller this is our larger right so the larger of two number is larger one is given is six less than three times the smaller one. So let the smaller be X. So now we can compare and get a larger in comparative to the smaller one. So the larger one of two numbers is this one is six less. So six less than three times 
three times the smaller that is x three times x so our variables are fixed keys are done now they said three times three times right three times so three times the larger number with this this one so 3x minus 6 is is 7 more so what is that 7 more then 4 times 4 times the smaller number who is our smaller number this guy right sorry question is done so what do you do we distribute 9x we distribute positive and negative negative 3 6 are what should be 18 right so we got 18 and there is 4x plus 7 so we'll have to undo and isolate this x right uh, isolate x so to do that we undo first this 18 so addition property of equality here got to get rid of this 4x so we say negative 4x subtraction property of equality so we subtract this 4x from here so we get from 5x take away 4 what 5x this guy 18 18 gone gone so add 7 and 18 8 gives you 15 one name is in hand 7 and 1 1 and nothing 1 2 right so you got to undo this divide by 5 divide by 5 so what do you get we get this 5 uh uh no well, 5 we wanted to get rid of this 5 so it gives us this x right this remains and 5 over 5 is 5 so x is 5 what they wanted find the number so this guy is 5 so we say the answer the numbers are 5 and the other guy is 3 times of 5 uh, let me erase them so it looks nice oh uh, 3 times 5 subtract six so 15 minus six what it gives nine and nine right okay good looks good so now here comes the next topic finding consecutive integers so these are warm up for your previous knowledge that's word problems and now it says consecutive twice the larger of two consecutive numbers so let's write our thing let x be the first consecutive integers right so twice the larger of two consecutive so next one should be larger one should be x plus two the second consecutive integer so consecutives are going smaller to larger so you don't have to tell larger if you said second it will be understood so what the equation twice the larger so twice of this guy x plus one uh, of two consecutive integers is equal to 15 15 less so subtraction right then three times three times the smaller right this so now our equation is form up so expand or distribute 2x plus 2 times 1 2 equals 3x minus 15 so what do we need to do we need to undo this 2x and uh, so subtraction property of equality so again we need to undo this 15 because we get x in that right hand side so we got to subtract this 15 subtraction property of equality this is gone so negative 13 right 2 take away from 15 or 15 take away from positive 2 so we are left 2x taken away from 3x we are left with x this is gone so our x is this so that's our first number right they said find the larger number so we need to get this one so this guy is negative 15 positive one how much you are getting negative 14 right in number line uh this is negative 14 you take away one so you come up from here right so this is the answer so your answer find the larger number you write your answer the larger number is what negative 13 again confusion you see negative 13 is here negative 14 is here so this one is larger right towards right okay so good at this another problem down 
next finding consecutive integer ah uh, this one is number four in your review so this uh, consecutive integer such that the five times the four termination so four consecutive so let's fix up our variables so let x be the first consecutive integers so next one what one more so x plus one second consecutive integers next one has to be added one with that so two so third consecutive integers right so what should be the next one we add one right so we got the fourth consecutive integers right so what they're telling the such that five times the fourth so five times the four this guy right so x plus three diminished so diminishing was reducing right so subtraction diminished by twice twice let me use this color twice the second second is this guy right so x plus one x plus one e so that's equal right seven so what is that seven so we got our equation so let's work on that so 5 distributed 5x 5, 5 3 is a 15 positive 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 negative positive negative 2x is 2x negative positive negative 2 ones are 2 is 7 right so what do you get x is like term positive and negative so subtraction 3x large general has a positive sign so positive 3x you may write it or you may not write it as it is the first term so next is positive 15 negative 2 take away right so positive 13 right remains because you subtract the smaller one from the larger one and the larger one contains the result contains the larger one signs and you have a 17. now you need to do what you need to isolate this x right so first get, get rid of this guy so this is negative 6 what so positive 3x right so they equal you need to divide division properties of equality so your x is negative 2 right so that is for number four in your review right so we go back then you get see what is there they said uh, find four consecutive integers so what are our four consecutive integers let's arrange them from our key chart so x is what negative 2 so negative 2 positive 1 gives us what negative 1 so this is negative 1 so negative 2 positive 2 gives us 0 and uh, this is our negative 2 right and next one you know that consecutive so you don't have to calculate you just to the number line negative 1 negative 2 0 and 1 right 1 2 3 4 these are the numbers of mine so we say answers for this one is the consecutive integers r okay or you can say the four consecutive integers is as nice try to be as nice as you can okay so all the integers are well then negative two negative one zero one i know consecutive integers come one after another right okay so next find consecutive even and odd remember that anything even and odd we assume the first one is that so what they say consecutive even number so three so we say key let x be the first consecutive what even integers right so next one has to be what two away right if it is even next one is odd next one is even always one even to one one plus one so two away remember that so we add two with them right so we add two with this so we get our second consecutive even integer how many they say three so we are almost done so add two with that so what do you get you get four right so you get four that's your third consecutive even integer okay so what they said the three consecutive integer even consecutive even integers such that the three times three times the first integer first one is this so x equals equals the sum so let's interpret that sum of the second so is the second x plus 2 x plus 2 
and third integer. So third, you can put it in the parentheses or not. Since all are positive, I don't mind. Whatever the way you write, chance of mistake is very less. So 3x here, 1x, 1x, 2x, 2 and 4 gives what? 6. So we need to undo this, isolate this x, so get rid of 2x plus. Ah, uh, do I subtract 6? No. What I have then? Okay. So negative 2x gone. So what do you take away? 2, you have a x, this is gone. 6, right? So what they wanted? Find three consecutive integers. So go back and plug in there, right? If you plug in 6, you get a 6 as the first one. You plug in 2 with 6, so you get a 6 plus 2 is 8, and next should be 10, right? You don't have to add, you know the thing, okay? So these are the three consecutive even integers. They fulfill that condition. So we say the consecutive even integers are what? 6, 8, and 10. So 6, 8, and 10. So we are almost there. Next, uh, find three consecutive odd. So this time, we assume that let x be what? Odd or even? Odd. We are looking for odd. So first, consecutive odd integers, right? So next one, again, look at number nine. Don't mistake. Don't get panic. Odd. So next one here, one away, one away, add. So two away. So if it is x, that has to be x plus two. Next one plus 2 right let me write there so if it is x and continues right so we write the next one as what x plus 2 as the second consecutive odd integers they said 3 so we are done with this right so second consecutive integer i think everybody is okay still you have problem talk to me such that such that five times the second Second, so is this second? So five times the second, right? Put in parenthesis. Five times, so the whole thing. Decreased, so that is decreased by the third, by the third. So third is this. Decreased by the third. Put it, there is a negative, so put it in the parenthesis, right? So let me change the color. Exceeds, so by the third. Exceeds three times the first. So this exceeds three times the first by 19 by 19 so we got our equations 5x distribute 5 twos plus 10 positive negative negative x negative positive negative so there is uh, always hidden one so it's four right so 3x plus 19 so we have a more x's here so you can get rid of this so you add x here and now uh, uh, mm -hmm. let's not be that critical uh, let me you might be get lost so 5x one take away 4x 10 and negative 4 4 taken away positive 6 3x plus 19 right now i got to get rid of this guy so subtraction property of equality now what i'll be getting absolutely serious so in subtraction of 6 subtraction property of equality for 4x 3x is taken away, x, so this is gone, gone, so 6 taken away, 19 is 13, right, our x is 13, what they say, find t consecutive, so this is 13, so what that will be, added 2, 15, and 17, right, 13, 17, 17, so you say, the answers, uh, the consecutive odd integers are who are the 13 15 and 17 and 17 right okay great so two of the topics are gone so age problems right so this is mostly chart and other things you remember so take a deep breath hi so let's see, four years ago, so let's time frame, frame them. Uh, so four years ago, four years ago, father sage, so there is one character, so it's another dimension, father, 
age was three times the age of his son. So there is a son, right? Okay. The total age of the father and son in four years. In four years. So let it be now here and in four years, right? So it's all about fine, 64, whatever, father and son. Now let's come today. Let's say him four years ago, the father's age was three times the age of the son. So comparing his son. So let's say if it is X. So four years ago, what happens? Son was X minus four, right? So what happened to four years ago? The father age was, so this was three times, three times. Uh, let me read this. Okay. So three times uh the age of his son so what was his son x minus 4 at that time so x minus 4 right so the total age of the father and the son is four in four years so in four years what will be father the father whatever is today we don't know but with this one eight will be added right eight will be added that that we can definitely tell right so to look at it, um, uh, four years ago, the father's age was three times the age of the son. Let's start that more simply. What I'll say, since they said one mistake probably, let's start that fresh, number six. The four years ago, the father's age was three times the age of his son. So it's quite simple. Let's assume now four years ago and four years in four years future in four years right future today present and past right father son let's start from here four years ago the father was three times the son so if son is at the time x father was 3x so now it should be for added right because it's four years at found you're coming four years from son is x plus four right and in four years what the father will be with this again four added so that is eight with son that is added right so x plus eight now let's make the equations it's always good to form another table by saying equations right or in the down whatever you feel like it tells the total age of the father and the son four years in four years so in four years here so total of these two right so 3x plus 8 plus this x plus 8 equals 64 so let's form up and write the equation so 3x and x plus 4 3x and x 3x plus 8 plus i'm just writing separately for your clear understanding, you can move from here to and write a state where go and write that tx and 4 because 3x plus 8 plus x plus 8 is 64 and 3x like time and x is 4x and 888 gives you what? 16, so 64. Now you need to isolate x, so first get rid of this 16 and get rid of this 16 and then uh, what you get this is a gone 4x left so now 16 gone from 64 10 gone 54 another 6 so 48 and now we got to isolate so division property of equality so you get an x and this four ones are four four two is 12 so x is 12 so we can now chart in and what they said what is the father's age present? So presently, father is what? If we look at it, we see the father is 3x plus 4. So now say, uh, let's get currently father. Uh, father currently is 3x. So 3x is 12, right? You can see it from here. Plus, let me nice, look nice, look nice. No distractions, so plus four, right? Plus four. So what do you get? T12 is 36 plus four gives us 40. So that's what his father said. Now you can write your answer. Nice the answer. Currently, father's age is 40. So answer currently or now today, what they have said, what they've said at present, at present. Let's say at present. At present father's 
age is what we got 40 right 40 years right never forget to write the unit yeah age will be in uh, years that's two years and month so again age problem that's a seven little critical one looks like little critical let's say so <clears throat> again we say Rajan get married eight years ago. So now let's make a table. So this is eight years past, it's eight years ago. And who's that? There is one character, Rajan, we get. So in another dimension, we say that. It is ago. His present is 6.5 times his age at the time of his marriage. So now probably we can think about his marriage or today. Let's Proceed as a sister. So there is a sister here, right? Ten years younger than him at the time of his marriage, at the time, right? What is the age of Rajan's sister now? So probably we can make another row as now, currently, right? So let's assume what they were. So Rajan's marriage time is here. Let's say Rajan is at the time x so he was x minus eight so another thing we have 10 years ago right so let's make another thing we should have been making it here so let me change them a little bit sister uh -uh. i wanted to make another column that said 10 years ago Raja and his sister, right? Sister. So 10 years ago, Rajan was X minus 10, and his sister should be uh sister was Rajan's sister was 10 years younger than him at the time of his marriage. So that is eight years was his marriage. So Today is X, so his sister was 10 years younger. I don't think I'll need this column. However, now, does time of his marriage. Rajan caught eight years ago. His present age is, current age is six over five times his age at the time of his marriage. So this is the equation you can form. At the time of marriage, I don't think I'll need that. Let's forget that. So at the time of marriage, he was X minus 8. So X minus 8. His present age is, present age is X. So X is 6 over 5 at the time of his marriage. This. So we got our equation, right? So from here, we can multiply by 6 over 5 reciprocal to cancel out 5 over 6. So you get a 5x over 6 equals, this is gone, this is gone, x minus 8, right? So now, mm, what do we do? Uh, I think we can do it more simply, right? Our basic equation was y5 over 6. Let us get rid of this. 6 over 5. So multiply by 5. Multiply this guy by 5. So what we get, you see, this is 5, 5 gone. So 5x equals 6x and this negative 48, right? So positive 48, positive 48. So 5x positive 48 equals 6x. Now let's get rid of this 5x, 5x. So positive 48 is x so what they have asked for what is rajan's age rajan's age of rajan's sister now uh we have erased all of this so let's again think about that that's why it's not good to erase them so we said 48 is x right so uh -huh.
so Arjun's got married eight years. If present is six for time of his, the time of his marriage, our sister is ten years younger than him. Okay, so he's ten years. So Arjun's sister now. So if it is forty-eight, ten years younger. So minus ten. So that should be thirty-eight, right? So perfect. I think thirty-eight is Rajan's sister age. So Rajan's sister's age is thirty-eight now, right? Uh, I think uh, you should be good because rewind, you won't be lost. Or should I do it again? Let me do it again. Rajan's got married eight years ago. Eight years ago, Rajan is age is seven. Blah blah. Rajan's sister was so sister. Now, so his present age is sixty-five, six over five times as at the time of his marriage. So let's assume today's x. So eight years ago it was x minus eight. So it will be love relationship between them. And Rajan's sister is ten years younger than. So now she should be ten years younger than Rajan. X minus ten. Rajan's sister was ten years. Him time of his marriage. Oh no. Of his marriage. So it should be during marriage she was x minus eight ten years younger. So again ten years, so it gives x minus eighteen. That's the way we went wrong. Rajan's sister was ten years younger than him at the time of his marriage. What is the age of? Her? So at present, currently Rajan is six over five times is at the time of marriage. So this x minus six. So now multiply by five, both sides by five, five x con six x negative thirty six. So uh, positive thirty six positive thirty six. We get rid of this five x five x so this is gone thirty six x is gone so x is thirty six. So today is eight years later, right? So we add eight over there. So logically, it should be x minus ten. So if it is x is thirty six. Are you going good? Sister was ten years younger than him at the time of his marriage. It makes sense, right? Yep, it makes sense. So if X is, we put something wrong here. Why it is X minus six? So six over find X minus eight. So it should be forty-eight. So we should add 48 here. So add 48. So this is 48x. Yeah, we are right at the time of earlier also. So that's 38 is Rajan's sister age. Okay. <clears throat> uh, sorry if it looks critical, first one, but it's a very simple one. A person A is two years. So this is number eight, right? A person is... A is two years older than another person B. The person B is twice older. So there is a comparative between A, B, and C. So let's make a chart. I don't know how many rows we'll need. So A, B, and C, right? So they say A is twice, two years older than another person B, and the person B is twice older as third person C. So third person let M, X. So B is 
twice as old as the third person so two times of this 2x and then a is two years older than another person b so two years older than sim so it should be 2x plus 2 right older so more now they say the sum of the total ages of three people so this plus this plus this so x plus 2x 3x and 2x 5x and this two remains here e is equal 27 so it's a simple one right 27 yeah there should be some simple problems so get rid of this 2 5x is uh 25 so the division property so this is gone so x is 5 right so what they wanted then how old is b b is 2x right so x is 5 so 2x is 2 times of 5 so that's 10 years of old right so answer b is 10 years old right so that's the answer so next number 14 right age problem is almost uh, we're there right so if you go and move to number 14 what do you see that my brother is three years older than me right so let us be i am here so that's my brother right and then uh, older than me, my father again another character is my uh, let's not write my just less a father there's only one father so no confusion I was 28 years age when my unless uh, furnish the characters first sisters looks like many characters like okay born while the mother there is mother too wow i like this problem mother right uh was 26 years age when i was born so i'm still there if my sister sister story goes on so same characters right so let's see my brother is three years older than me so let me be x so my brother is x plus three makes sense still uh my father is 28 years of age when i was born right so if i am zero that time my father was 20 eight right and that time while my mother was 26 years of age when i was born okay so my mother uh, uh this sister right so my mother was uh -uh. my mother was 26 at the time right so here it is 26 okay when i was born if my sister was four years age when my brother was born so when my brother was born i don't know where he is right so let us say when my brother was zero my sister was four years of age so here we get a character that my sister is four years of age okay when my brother was born then what was the age of my father and mother respectively when my brother was born so my brother was born this time that time what was my mother what was my father right looks a very interesting problem so let's see if we can form up any equation from there let's think somewhere now in between right let's say here this is our now so my mother was three years my brother was three years elder to me so this is it my father was 28 years age when my sister was born so when my sister was born while my father was 28 years of age oh uh, when my sister was born so my sister was zero when this time it's not me okay right. that time mother 26 my father was 26 year of age when my mother born while my mother was 26 age when i was born oh let's do another column 
It's a little critical, right? Very critical. Oh, but these are. Uh, let's see another column. And let's put this out. Let's say my father was 28 years. My father was 28 years when my sister was born. Sister was zero. And while my mother was 26 of age when I was born. So when I was zero, my mother was 26. Yeah, now it makes sense. If my sister was four years age when my, mother was, my brother was born, my brother was zero, my sister was four. Uh, then what was the age of my father and mother respectively when my brother was born? So I need to find this age and uh, my brother was my father. So when my brother was zero, what was my father, what was my mother? Yeah. So how to do that? Uh, let's say uh, my four sister was four. It was zero, right? My sister was Oh, my sister was four age when my brother was born. So when my brother was zero, my sister was four. So it's four, right? So there is a difference of four. So what we can do is we can add four with that to get our father, right? So it's 32 was father. Good. And my mother was 26 when... I was born. So where I am, I am here. My mother was 26. At the time, uh, my brother was zero here, right? So, There must be some issues. My father was twenty years of age when my sister was was born, right? When sister was zero, father was twenty eight. I was twenty six of age when I was born. I was here. My brother is So it is four years back. To relate somehow, my brother is three years older to me. Mm, is some information missing, or what? My brother is three years older to me. My father is twenty years old. My sister was born when my mother was twenty-six years of age. When I was born. Mother was 26 when I was born. Brother is three years. So. Anyway, I'll look at it later. I'll cut it. But for now, there's too much variables. My head is not working. I'll cut it. So now, number 10, the length of each leg of an isosceles triangle. So let's draw isosceles, this guy, this guy, the leg, leg, congruent, this base. So the length of each leg 
and I saw the string is five more than twice the length of the base. So let the base be what? X. Let X be the length of the base. So leg of an isosceles triangle is five more, five more. These legs are five more uh, than twice the length of the base. So twice of this. So this guy is also 2x plus 5. So 2x plus 5 is the length of the base. Uh, sorry, length of the leg. Okay, I think solving so many problems like a man. Okay, the perimeter is, <clears throat> so perimeter of whom? The isosceles triangle. Find the length of each leg. So we'll have to find this. So perimeter is adding all these this plus this. So 2x, 2x, x, 5x's. Plus 5 and 5, we get a 10. And that is 47 and a half. So we get 5x plus 10, uh, 47 twos are like 80 and 94 and 95, right? We get something like 95. So oh, we get a 95 or 85? 80 and 7 twos are 40. 8 to the 14, 1, 5, 1 divided by 9, 8 to 9, 9 over 2. So multiply both sides by 2. So what do you get? Let's move on here. 5 to the 10x and 2 tens are positive 20. And that's equal to 80, 70, 95, right? This is gone. So subtract 20, subtract 20. We get 10x equals... Okay, 10x equals uh, 5, 7. So x is 7.5. We need the legs. So legs are 2x plus 5. So 2 times a leg equals 7.5 plus 5. So 15 plus 5 is 20. So let's erase them. So 20 is the find the length of each leg. So is there any unit? Uh, nothing is told. Length of each leg is five more than there's no unit. So we say answer uh, the length of each leg is what? 20 units. 20 units right so that's it okay so length of each side of a square so let's draw an a square right let's draw an a square okay looks good uh, okay x is twice the length of each side of equilateral triangle right so let's draw an equilateral triangle looks good okay so what do you say length of each side of a square exceeds the twice? So the length of each side of equilateral triangle. So let it be x, all are congruent, right? So all are congruent. So the length of each side of a square exceeds twice the length of each side of an equilateral triangle. So twice of this triangle by four. So all of them are congruent, right? So 2x, 2x plus 4, 2x plus 4, 2x plus 4, right? All of the side the perimeter of the triangle so this plus this plus this so three x's is 61 less than the perimeter of the square what is the perimeter all four of them so four times let me write more nicely so 61 less four times than each of this add 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 so four right so two x plus four so what do you get? 3x equals 4 to the 8x. 4 4 is a 16 minus 16. This is off, right? Oh, how can it be? Oh, 61. This is 61 less. Come on. 
will mean 61. So we have 8 to the 8x, 4 to the 8, 4 to the 16, minus 61. So from here, if we move on, again, I've written 16, put 61. So 3x equals 8x, 16 and negative. So 16 gone from 61, 5, 1 remains in hand, 2, 4, right, and subtraction. Now, I need to get rid of, I need to get a positive here, so negative 3x, negative 3x. And now from right hand side, get rid of this, so positive 45. This is gone, positive 45. 3 taken away, 5x, divide 5, divide 5. So we get our x as 9, right? So what they ask? length of each sign, the length of each side of the equilateral, so then 9. The answer is length of equilateral triangle is 9. Any unit? Inches, right? So 9, uh-uh, 9 inches. Good. Okay, so we are almost there. So in number 12, finding area, right? You know, one is one dimensional, another one is two dimensional. So we say what we see, the length of rectangle. So let's draw a rectangle. Uh -huh. uh, Okay, is three times the length of each side of a square. So let's draw an square here. Good, look good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the length of rectangle is three times the length of each side of the square. So the square will be x, 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 right? So length of rectangle is three times, three times the length of each side of a square. Simple. So this is also opposite and equal. The width of the rectangle is one more. This is one more. I mean this one, right? This one. Is twice the length of each side of the square. So twice the length of the square is x, so it's x. So it's 2x plus 1. If 3 times the perimeter of the square, so 3 times the perimeter, if the perimeter is this plus this plus this, so x, 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 4x, right? Perimeter of the square. So if three times the perimeter of the square, perimeter of the square of the square exceeds exceeds more, the perimeter of the rectangle, perimeter of the rectangle by two by two, right? When the area the square. So we need to get x to get the area. So now perimeter of the square is four x. So that's four x. Perimeter of the this two times of this, so three x three x added. So there is 6x, right? And then oh, this 2. So 2 times of x plus 2 times of 2x plus 1, right? So we can move on. 3 to the 12x, 6x, 2 to the 4x, 2 ones are 2, right? So 12x, 6 and 4 gives you 10x, right? What does it give to? So 12 is the larger one. Let's get rid of this 10x. And subtraction property of equality. So you get a 2x and 2. So get rid of this 2. So divide by 2 division property of equality. Your x is 1, right? So length of each side. So area of a square. Area of... Of a square is what side square so each side is x is 1 so 1 square so 1 square unit so is there any unit that side side 2 so no unit so we say square units right 
Okay, so I think it should be good. I wanted to do it go faster. You all are good to cope up with this. So solve them, practice them. Practice them from your workbook. Awesome. Relax. Okay. So let me know if you need anything. Good luck and enjoy your vacation. 